Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Our project title is a multi-dimensional press model for processing big data over computing clouds. Let's see the abstract of our project. The main objective of this project is securely store and process the big data in cloud. The ultimate goal is to ensure an efficient selection of trust within a cloud provider, who eventually will guarantee high QoCs, such as quality of cloud services, and fulfills key big data workflow requirements. In this multi-dimensional trust model, the security of cloud services can be measured. It provides the trust between the cloud service provider and the user. The security strength of a particular cloud services can be measured for processing the big data on the cloud. The big data processing, which includes the process of data selection, storing, viewing, data pre-processing, test data quality, feature extraction, data analysis, and then quality evaluation. Finally, our model ensures the data security for processing the big data over the competing clouds. And also, this project ensures the trustworthiness of the cloud service provider before processing the big data on the cloud. Let's see the flow of our project. First, the user will log in to their account. Suppose if it is a new user, they have to be registered before login. The registration, which includes the details of user first name, last name, username, email ID, mobile number, and then password. During the registration, the secret key will get generated for the user. Here, the AES algorithm is used for generating a secret key. After the successful registration, the user can make use of their username and password to log in to their account. After the successful login, they will choose the types of cloud services that the user want to process. The cloud services can either be a public or a private cloud. After choosing the types of cloud services, they will send a request to the trust monitoring agent to evaluate the trustworthiness of the cloud service provider. The trust monitoring agent will log in to their account by making use of their username, password and then secret key. After the successful login, login they will check a user request and, and send the evaluation report to the user. After getting a report from the trust monitoring agent, they will send a request to the cloud server for processing the big data on the cloud. The cloud server will log in by making use of their username and pass password and then secret key. After the login, they will view all the user requests who are all want to process the big data on the cloud. And they will check the validity of the user and the data that they want to process. After, the, after checking, they, they will grant a permission to the user. After getting a permission from the cloud services, they will process the big data on the cloud. First, the data set is loaded. Here, the EEG signal data set is loaded for predicting whether the particular person is in a normal or an abnormal mindset. After loading the data set, the data is pre-processed. Pre-processing is the process of removing an unwanted data. And then, feature extraction. Feature extraction is the process of extracting a relevant feature from the data set for prediction. After that, it will classify normal and then abnormal persons. Here, the Navy bias classification algorithm is used for classifying the normal and then abnormal patients. After the, after the classification, it will show the prediction report and the chart will be generated based on the person mindsets. Let's see the execution of our project. Click start button to start the execution. Suppose if it is a new user, they have to be registered before login. The validation have been done in the registration form. Enter the last name, username. The password should be minimum six characters. Enter the email ID. the mobile number here the secret key will be generated using an AES algorithm registered successfully after that they can make use of their username password and then secret key to log in to their account enter the username password and then secret key Login succeed. After the successful login, they will choose a type of cloud service provider they want to process. Public cloud. 
send and request to this trust service provider. The request will get sent to the trust service provider. Here they will see the trust evaluation report. The trust service provider will log into their account. Trust. Login succeed. They can view the user request and then evaluate the trust here. Secure and send an evaluation report to the user. The user can view the evaluation status and the security level. Click the next button. Choose a file they want to process. Here it will display the data that the user has chosen. The EEG signal data set is used for processing the big data on the cloud services. In this data set, we are going to predict the person whether the person is in a normal or abnormal mindset. Here it will display the file details of such as file name, file format, and then file size. The request will get sent to the cloud server. After that, the cloud cloud server will log into the record. After the successful login, the cloud server will view the user request. They can view the request and verify the user is a valid user and grant a permission to the user to process the big data on the cloud. After that, they will view the request status. Suppose the permission is granted, they will process the big data. Load the data set. Here it will display the data set results. Load to HDFS. Display. Click next button. Pre-process. The data is pre-processed to remove the unwanted data. Feature extraction is the process of extracting a relevant feature from the data set. The feature extraction done successfully and then view the data. Here the Navy Pairs classification algorithm is used for classifying whether the person is in normal or abnormal mindset. data classified successfully then view the data it will generate a report here the chart will be generated now based on the normal and then abnormal persons this is the overall execution of our project thank you for watching this video